Hi on the daily. On this episode, I am sharing all about one of my private clients. This is a woman who came to me like acting basically like a stressed out solopreneur. And it's crazy because she has a multi-million dollar company and she had massive burnout. And now this woman is the queen of boundaries. She's a full on CEO. She's hired so many amazing people into her business. She is making choices. She's saying no, she's doing all the things and I am obsessed with her. And so I want to talk about her today because I think a lot of people wonder when they see that kind of transformation, people go, how did they do that? So in this episode, I am literally going to tell you everything we've done to get her from complete burnout to creative CEO in about nine months. And If you like the idea of delegating and you like the idea of saying no, and currently that scares you, then this episode is definitely for you. So listen in. Hey friend, welcome to On The Daily. I'm your host, Danielle McCleary, and I am a quantum business coach. I'm the host of this podcast. I'm a multi six figure entrepreneur, co founder, and president of Hype You Media and CEO of Danielle on the Daily Coaching. What I'm really interested in is helping you live a life and have a business that is a full body yes. So, through all of my education and all of my experience, I'm bringing you two episodes a week where I will guide you and give you the tools necessary to scale a massive, sustainable, and sexy business using your intuition, wealth energetics, and human design. What we can call it is business biohacking. So if you're down for that, then I say let's frickin' go. I'm so glad you're here. As you've probably heard, Money Boo Thing, my new masterclass all about money, mindset, stacking your cash, monthly recurring revenue, strategies you can implement to make more money, the mindset shifts I've had from like aligning with a frequency of more money, uh, how that looks in everyday practice, how I went from like terrified to look at my bank account every day and stressed out to have conversations about finances to who I am now where money, like I literally do not even like a hundred thousand dollars does not even phase me. I will never get over how much I love my family. That is the kind of transformation that I'm talking about inside of Money Boothing. This masterclass has already sold so many times. It is only available until November 1st, and then it goes into the society. If you are a current member of the society, you're all good. It was automatically delivered to your member member portal already. Um, If you're not a part of the society... I suggest being a part of the society because every masterclass I do goes in there and there's an on-demand member portal of like 30 different trainings, 30 different masterclasses, things on money, mindset, human design, sales, content, social media. Um, What else? Uh, There is information on podcasting. I mean, there's so many different things inside of the society and the society is $97 a month this masterclass is $111. So technically you should just buy the society. However, if you want to just purchase Money Boothing, it is available until November 1st and you can click the link in our show notes to get that. If you want information on the society, come find me on Instagram, Danielle underscore on the daily, and I can send you a link to that as well. Okay. Let's talk about this rock star CEO, badass client that I have. This is a private client who came to me about nine months ago. We've been working together ever ever since, and she is a force of nature. She always has been a force of nature. This woman came to me and was so quick to make decisions. Like we made, we did a human design reading first and she knew what she wanted. She knew where her gaps were. She knew her opportunities and the, like her hiring me was the easiest process ever. And we've just been having the best time ever since. But when this woman came to me, She did everything, like everything. She did it. She was everything to everyone. She barely said no. And then she would get herself into these situations where she would end up so stressed out and so burnt out that she would have to basically shut down, like full system malfunction, and then wind up in this epic state of burnout at a spa somewhere. And that's that was her it was like zero to a hundred, zero to a hundred, zero to a hundred. And that is not a good place to live. And especially for this client of mine, she runs a multi-million dollar company and 
with all with the the way that she was running her life and her business and she's a mom and all these things like the way she was running her business was very much like 0 to 100 0 to 100 and there was no in between and so right off the bat i said we need to get you out of this stressed out fight or flight central nervous system and we're going to do that by diving deep into your subconscious mind we're going to talk about all the things that happened throughout your childhood that have led you to being in this body where you think the only way to be successful is if you're doing everything yourself, if you are, you know, making sure everyone else around you is happy before yourself by not setting boundaries, by not delegating tasks, by trying to do all of it. We need to figure out where that started. So we did. We figured out where that came from. We figured out like, you know, through like generational patterns, childhood patterns, like things that happened throughout her life that have now put her in this position where she's stuck in this constant loop and cycle, which clearly is not this is not a loop and cycle that is sustainable because she's making herself sick constantly. And it's like the whole, the craziest part about working with this client is like the whole time I'm like, you are, you are, her business never faltered, which is such a testament to her. Um, because it's like, it's so impressive when people are stuck in this like insanity and then are still holding up all the plates. But my biggest thing was like, aren't you tired of holding up all the plates? Wouldn't you rather put some of these plates down and actually like, I don't know, enjoy your life. So we did a lot of work around her mindset. We rewired her subconscious brain, which is not easy, by the way. This is if it was easy, everybody would do it. It also does not have to take as long as it took you to get that way. Um, like I said, in nine months, this human is unrecognizable. I mean, physically also, like she it's like it when we when we step into our power and we really own who we are like our physicality changes like she sits taller it's the coolest craziest thing i've ever witnessed in my life and i just adore this client so freaking much um we've also implemented strategies so we talked a lot about like the organization of her company and like how we could, you know, implement new systems and new structures and new team. She's hired team. She's, you know, kind of switched her roles and responsibilities a little bit. So she is not so in the business, but instead she gets to work on the business. I think, I think in order to be a true sustainable CEO, you have to be able to work on your business, not in the business. And too many people, they try to just work in the business all the time. And it's just like a soldier in the trenches. If you're, if you're in it too far, you can't see, you have no foresight for what's coming. You have no foresight for, you know, the direction you want to go. Everything's just happening to you. And so we kind of got her out of that, which was really great. And I knew, I, I remember I, I, we had this moment in one of our calls where I was like, the minute you get a taste of this, you're not going to be able to put it down. And it's true. The minute she got a taste of it, she's like, oh, I'm never going back. Like, this is it. And she started attracting like these really incredible people into her life and into her business. And she started to like, she planned these cool events and she's connecting with all of these different people and her mission is getting clearer and her, you know, the drive is getting clearer because it's not just this one business. She is like, she has like world renowned titles and she is, she has her own personal brand as well. Like this woman is a literal force of nature and she didn't have time to do any of her passion projects because she was so in her company. And so we really worked to remove her from that position so that she could really be the CEO instead of a CEO and the employer and the janitor and the housekeeper and the finance person. And this is like, no. And once we did, she started to set more boundaries. She started to say no most more often. She started to be a more present mom. Not that she wasn't before, but it's like everything gets better. The better it gets, the better it gets. And to see the new person that she is and, and trust me, like this is a person who like most of us, when we do this work, you have to challenge every version of yourself that is just holding on for dear life. And is all, you know, you have to be willing to challenge, to challenge you have to be willing to challenge that version of yourself. You have to be willing to have a conversation with your ego that is currently driving the car and be like, it is time for you to take a seat because it is my turn to drive. And the way that she is so clear about her decision-making now, the way that she is so clear about her role in each of her businesses and her companies, the way that she's so clear in her role with her family, 
it's just really awesome to see. And it's also super inspiring because so many people deal with this. And most people are also are not also running multi-million dollar companies. So to see her be able to go through all of this and still improve and, you know, make her business like even more incredible than it was when we started is just a testament to who she is. It's also a testament to having mentorship, to have a mentor that really sees you and asks the hard questions. I have asked this client so many hard questions, questions that have triggered her, questions that have kind of like dysregulated her a little bit. And through that work, she's been able to understand that these triggers are just parts of herself that need to heal. And she's done it. She's, she's been willing and she's taken action. And it's not, it's not, all action all at once. It's small compounding movements over time. And now nine months later, it's a completely different business. It's a completely different her. It's a completely different energy. And she's happy and she's excited and she can actually see what's coming. And that is a really good feeling. Now, obviously I am, I am accepting new private clients right now. I am also accepting clients into my mastermind, which is another place where you get real personalized support like this. If you're a VIP in there, you also get private calls, but this is the work that I love to do. It's not just business. And I think why I'm so good at what I do is I am really this like intersection of business, energy, mindset, family, life, love, because I've lived a lot of lives. Like people always tell me I've lived like nine lives. So you're not just going to come to me and like work on your business. You're, you're like in order to be better in your business, you have to be better in your family and you have to be better in your relationships and you have to be better within yourself. And so that's the work that I do. I do a whole, I, like my approach to improving someone's ability to stand in their power and really own that is a holistic approach. It's the full picture because it you cannot do one without the other. So I just wanted to share that today because I I'm obsessed with this client and I'm obsessed with transformations like this. And it's a really, really powerful thing. She will probably be on the podcast at some point, I'm sure. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you want to discuss ways to work together, please slide into my DMs, Danielle underscore on the daily. We can point you in the right direction. The scariest thing is like taking the first step. And then all of a sudden you kind of like laugh at that version of yourself that was so afraid because you're like, what was I so afraid of? that's the power of mentorship. So with that, I will leave you. We will see you next time. Bye.